After meeting the Israeli ambassador, a parliament member hit his colleague Taufi Okasha with a shoe, publicly renouncing any attempts to normalize ties with Israel. Applauds filled the legislative chamber after that insult. The speaker created a disciplinary committee for Okasha. It accused him of violating the principle of separation of powers, disrupting deep-rooted parliament rules and taking a unilateral decision to meet the Israeli ambassador. But that has led to a legal conflict. Regardless of what Okasha did, what happened against him is legally wrong. No one should be sent to a disciplinary committee, and after that committee takes a decision to suspend him for full legislative season, the parliament refuses this decision and takes another one in the same session. That's a violation of the bylaws. Usually violations made by members of parliament take at least three days to investigate. In Okasha's case, it was just few hours. Moreover, he was locked outside the chamber, denying him the right to defend himself. If the decision stands, it puts the country in a deeper legal dilemma. The legalities get more complicated, as it's not clear how Okasha could appeal such a decision. Some argue that the appeal court could interfere, others say the judiciary cannot interfere. Another issue, how can a re-election take place in his constituency? The elections committee has been dissolved, and according to the constitution, an independent elections commission should take over. But that hasn't been formed, and the constitution sets just 60 days to fill in a vacant seat in the parliament. Taufi Okasha was not available for a comment. On his TV channel, he said if people object to his meeting with the Israeli ambassador, they should cancel the Camp David peace treaty instead. His channel shut down. The next day, the parliament revoked his membership. The parliament has made Okash an example for anyone who dares to publicly show any signs of normalizing ties with Israel, renewing a popular motion which defies the official position of Egypt that is no ties with Israel as long as it occupies Palestinian land. Adel Mahrouz, CCTV, Cairo.